Porque simplemente no voy a caer en tu red No soy un juguete que puedas controlar Eres un simple psicópata Conozco a tu clase, chico Mi misión es el contacto cero Absolutamente ninguna sumisión Oh no, oh no Porque no soy un juguete Para que tú lo controles No soy un juguete Para que lo que quieres No soy un juguete Para que doña amor ha inspirado Oh, oh, absolutamente ninguna sumisión no soy un juguete para que tú lo controles No soy un juguete para hacer lo que quieres No soy un juguete para hacer lo que quieres No es que no soy un juguete No soy un juguete No soy un juguete No soy un juguete No voy a dejar caer una lágrima no puedes hacer ningún daño Yo resolveré este rompecabezas No puedo soportar el caos Quiero que este sea mi mejor año He descubierto tu máscara No puedes hacer ningún daño Tu bombardeo de amor ha aspirado He descubierto tu máscara ¿Qué tal? Buenas noches. Bueno, estoy aquí grabando porque últimamente me pasan cosillas cuando estoy transmitiendo en vivo. Así es que bueno, vamos a darle aquí. Voy a ahora a intentar subir por fin la traducción de la entrevista que se le hizo a este señor. Odi Jonathan. Vamos a ver. Aquí está, ya es un video. Vamos a presentar. Oh, no, aquí no. Se lo digo presentando video. Lo que les digo, chicos y chicas, que esto de Bueno, esto es muy gracioso. 
Y esto es real, porque esto es tomado de, de la cadena GMM. Por eso ya legalmente es Vamos a ver si puedo verlo yo. Mm. Ok. Ahora sí, ya, me, ya estoy viendo esto de mejor manera para seguir presentando. Y bueno, ahorita aprovechando la pausa, les digo que últimas noticias con este caso que se abrió en el 2018, inmediatamente cuando él se presentó en uno de los eh, centros de juego de golf del de expresidente Donald Trump. Él se presentó en el área de lobby con una bandera y empezó a disparar, ¿verdad? Varias veces y armó la trifulca y hubo fatalidades en el altercado con esas armas de fuego. Y es por eso que él está ahorita ahí detenido. Bueno, está detenido desde el año 2018. Y este 15 de octubre acaba de volver a haber audiencia, si se le puede llamar así, porque solamente estaba su abogado eh, eh, de Coast, algo así el apellido, no, no tengo bien cómo se escribe. De Coast puede ser así como francés. Pero bueno, es lo de menos, el día 15 de octubre hubo una audiencia como de cinco minutos, que así son, en ocasiones es el que sigue, el caso que sigue, el caso que sigue. Fue una investigadora, una youtuber, eh, algo como DJ investiga, algo así. Y dice que estuvo ahí y solamente estaba logado y ella ha estado checando los dockets. Esto es en el Doral, en, en Florida. Ella comenta, a mí no me consta, no, me, no tengo el dato aquí a la mano. Sí tengo el caso, pero ahorita no lo tengo aquí enfrente de mi pantalla. Que son cerca ya de mil eh, documentos que se han eh, sometido a archivo desde el 2018. Y se ha pospuesto, se ha pospuesto en sí su juicio desde el 2018. Entonces, la mañana del 15 de octubre, eh, te dice que él tenía permiso de no asistir, este señor Odi, y dicen, bueno, vamos a posponer el siguiente eh, hearing, la siguiente audiencia, para el 28 de octubre. Y en lo que ya están por abrir el siguiente, a la siguiente audiencia, dice la investigadora que lo cambiaron para el 11 de noviembre. Y en lo que sigue ahí hojeando papeles el juez, en cosa de segundos, un minutito, vuelven a, a dar fecha y dicen, no es, no es noviembre, dice noviembre 11 y luego enseguidita la vuelven a cambiar para noviembre 15. O sea, una cosa muy, muy rara como la Matrix, ¿qué está sucediendo aquí? Le están dando demasiadas largas a este caso es como dato adicional y bueno vamos a ver aquí por fin de nueva cuenta la traducción vamos a ver aquí ah donde dice que vergonzoso dice que el caso de Stormy Daniels simplemente es vergonzoso Aquí me pregunto si se refiere a... Ross. No, no tengo idea. Ross, ¿quién puede ser? They, they, they're gay. Who? Both. Eddie and Ross. And Karen. 
Leo Gay. Okay? DJ Khaled. But that DJ Khaled. Ross and P. Diddy? Yeah. Leo Gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Got it. It's a Hamas supporter. Okay. Who supporter? Hamas. 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 Okay, aquí se refiere a lo que está sucediendo con Gaza, Hamas, Israel, toda esa eh, guerra. Y habla de que alguien es, eh, que, es que apoya a ese momento de Hamas. Hamas I had sex with Cass and Sean. Como un, Basically, would... como highlights de lo que va a venir ahorita la entrevista en sí. Pero dice que aquí tuvo un encuentro con Cassie, alegadamente Cassie Ventura y Pidido. Uh, he would masturbate, tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot. Oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's hidden. Uh, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy? Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The, the Boule. The Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. And it's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a by an African woman in my house, okay? okay. She was just a server, but she was my my nation South Africa. She you know took care of me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. Okay. Um I had settlement with Sean, okay? Based on Trump, okay, because he used to belong to their side. You understand? He used to belong to that illuminated group that I told you about which is an elite group, okay, of individuals which run the whole country. All okay. right, all right. Um, basically, what I did, did you talk about, did you explain about the message? Or the no, please, 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 elaborate. On um, Thursday, turning to Friday, basically, I went to Donald Trump, I went through the, the gates, I took a, the, no, sorry, I jumped the fence and I took the American flag and I put it in the front desk and I pulled the chandelier. I basically, what I did that for is to transmit a statement to the American people and to Donald Trump that we're not accepting any more corruption and abuse from. Aquí está diciendo que le quiere transmitir un, un mensaje a Donald Trump que ya no aceptemos y ya no vamos a aceptar más la corrupción their system of friends okay. okay donald's still blind because he thinks that he had he let hillary off the hook and she's okay you understand what i'm saying i'm trying okay keep going um it ain't like that the cia and then they want to do the same thing that he did to jfk okay? okay all right why because they want the united states to fall They, they've already been creating a state of chaos and confusion in the United States and they want the United States to fall. Donald was against their agenda and won the presidency, okay? He did get help from Russia. He did get help from the Saudis. He also got help from a lot of Republicans mm -hmm. in here, which is the, the electoral college vote. And he got a lot of support from Republican people, okay? okay. Um, the elections, yeah, they weren't fair, but he wanted the electrical college vote. Right, right. Which is the Republican vote, basically, according to through, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't get the, the popular. popular vote, right, okay? Right. I, I hear you. Keep so going. basically, the interior, he got, he made it. He's president-elect by the electoral college. So, he made it. The situation is... El colegio electoral, hay algo... Is that he still hasn't kicked out the corruption from the system. He's letting them stay due to uh, due to money, basically, because they all like making money. That's why they're all billionaires, etc. So there's only a few, there's select few of that run the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So if you, I know you may or may not, I know you're gonna believe me. Um, you have what's called the Illuminati, 
Illuminati. 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 Okay. Yeah, Illuminati. Okay. okay. They've made it in dance. Basically what it means, illuminated. Okay. Okay. Um, they do satanic ritual abuse, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques mm -hmm. to their own family, kids, uh, etc. in the group. And they bond that way. Okay. So they do uh, sexual pedophilia, they do uh, animal abuse, uh, killing of animals. Es lo que me da tía, que no era en sí um, eh, una filia por los niños. Sí, como si sí los existen, si sí existe um, esa onda, ¿no? De sentirse atraídos realmente por niños, que es en fin, la, la pero, pero aquí estamos hablando de cosas de, de más allá de lo que es lo malévolo, o sea, una cosa más allá de nuestra comprensión, o sea, no es lo que se creía. Blood sacrifices and everything in the Bohemian Grove, ok? Right. The Bohemian Grove, the bushes go there. Um, George C. and George, both of them are in the same agenda. Um, por cierto, lo que estaba buscando eh, en mi celu era que ese Ross que él decía es un tal Rick Ross, eh, que es un cantante eh, que ha creado su propia compañía discográfica, Maybach Music Group. Y luego... Sean P. Diddy lo, lo hizo como de sus artistas principales. Pero a lo que estoy viendo aquí una nota del 2019 se le vincula con tráfico de sustancias en el 2019. En Los Ángeles, California. They caught they cousins with the Clintons, okay. So is Donald Trump. He's also a distant cousin. So if you see, there's a direct correlation of the presence of the United States being bonded between family ties, okay. Gotcha. All these family ties, while not go back to the same place, the royal family in England, okay. The the family here of the Illuminati are descendants of the royal British family, okay? They have children between themselves. Why? Because it's, they, and they have that issue, you understand? They want like superiority of the race. Mm -hmm. They see it that way. But it really is, it backfires them because it makes them simple-minded. You understand? When you, when you have, sex with someone in your family, your kids are not gonna come out small. You understand? They're gonna come out dumb. Alright? So Don will turn his back, but he's still trying to negotiate a peaceful way out and they have an agenda to kill him. Okay? Example, if you look at the Illuminati card games, example, okay? You look at the the, the game, the Illuminati card game? I'm not familiar with it, so help me understand. It's a card game. It's a card game. That tells you exactly what their agenda is. Gotcha. It's called mental pre-programming. That means that you predispose already, once you play this, your mind, so you predispose that this happening, mm -hmm. and you're accepting it. Okay? So they have a picture of Donald dead in that game. Oh, uh, okay. All right? I'm not crazy. They had the pictures of Donald Trump, <coughs> but they also had the Twin Towers. They had everything on there. Okay. Uy, qué tal. También tienen imágenes de las torres que me dan. From A to Z, so it's kind of like a hidden agenda, which they try to make it open to our eyes, but we can we really don't see it. We're so busy working. It's kind of like oh, uh, hidden in plain. Y así fue, estábamos tan ocupados 
trabajando que le dimos vuelta a la página de este caso de Didi, que ha sido pospuesto por ya tantos años. ¿sí? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself yeah. these days. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the boule. The so boule. The boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. And it's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a, by an African woman in my house. Okay. okay. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. She, you know, took care of me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. Okay. Um, I had settlement with Sean, okay, and he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five, okay. It's incredible. Uh que él maneja nombres con tanta seguridad. When I I take Sean the threat of death on me, okay? I don't have it, but I can make it available under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting framed for anything, okay? Right. Um I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters, and I heard a lot of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with speakers and stuff. And I would be in the, I was like a sex slave. Okay, for them that's what I was. That's all. All right. Es decir, él, él está diciendo que sufrió como esclavo sex por algún tiempo, no, no me acuerdo ahorita si fueron meses, eh, pero es, es el asunto legal que se está viendo ahorita es eso, que las víctimas eran tratadas como esclavos por una hora, dos horas, no, por días que era sigle el, el cliente 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 unas pobres víctimas que estaban bajo la influencia de sustancias para doblegarlas eh, dice aquí en el en este en esta franja amarilla dice en caso de que no te hayas enterado Odi este señor eh, está alegando que fue esclavo sex de parte de P. Diddy, antes era Puff Daddy, y su novia casi, y, y que eh, parte de, eh, de los actos era que P. Diddy hacía esto, que está clara la traducción, yo creo que no tengo que decirla, y entre tanto le decía a, a Odi qué hacer. Um, I call herpes. And I came back and I sued him for the herpes and won. But they didn't. Did Mark Erebus and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys. Y que contrajo herpes en mi casa. Okay. And Christopher Neons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and. It's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Yeah, it's possible, I'm not sure. Now, um, how does this lead towards Donald Trump? Okay. The Mercedes family, uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garibas. Mark Garibas used to be Michael Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he dropped Michael and they all deed him, okay? He didn't overdose, they all deed him because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made $860 million alone last year, okay, in 2017. Dice que Michael Jackson generó arriba de 800 millones de dólares en solamente durante ese año 2017 
y alegadamente que no fue accidente, sino que lo desvivieron para quedarse con todo su dinero. Which who keeps at royalty, the music companies, who represents the media and entertainment in the United States, most of them, Mercedes stars, Kenny Mercedes, which is Grimmer Mercedes Shaw out of Shaw out of New York. Okay. okay. So what they've been doing is they've been promoting a hate agenda against Trump. So people hate him. Okay, because they know he is very alpha. Okay, very alpha in the sense that he likes money, he likes to make money, and he likes women and they know they want to defame in certain ways with Stormy, with other people, because they want him out of the government. Okay. Habla entre otros de de la chica Stormy Daniels. But it ain't happening because it's too smart for them. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to, right? Don is intelligent. Is we have a similar type of intelligence and overview of things. The only thing is he's not seeing that Hillary is a distant cousin of his and Obama have a different plan for him. Do you understand? No offense with Obama. I love each and every American, but he was part of that 9-11 agenda. He's a CIA agent, a next CIA agent. That's why there's so much identity issues with Obama. Who knows his real name? They say what, what he, he was born in uh, Indonesia and he's also born in Hawaii. Nobody knows why because he's an ex CIA agent. Okay. Basically, Osama bin Laden never existed. It was a creation of the CIA and it was Obama in a cave talking shit and looking like an Arab. And then they bombed the Twin Towers. Okay, so my problem is, I'm here to expose each and single one of them to the American public for the crimes committed on September 11, 2001, and therefore, okay? Right. Now tell, tell me though, uh, how all of that led up to Thursday night, Friday morning? Well, I've been trying, I've been trying, my settlement put me in a box. Basically, I couldn't talk because I was be sued. So I let it be, but they've been following me and they've had, Mark Garrick has had uh, the FBI on me, has had other, other agencies looking at me and spying on me, okay, because they want to set me up as an extortionist. Like if I was extorting Sean for money, it's wrong. Basically what happened is, Diddy and Ross, which they good bodies, okay? Mm -hmm. They they they're gay. Who? Both Diddy and Ross and Callan, they are all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P Diddy. Yeah, they all gay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Callan is a Hamas supporter. Okay. Who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, I said the wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Hamas supporter. Okay. All right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian, okay? Um, the Sirach agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies. Purposely. That's why they had Chupac killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous. Okay, that's how they do it. All right. Um, Chupac's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is following. The hip hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs all over the United States. They move, you need to inform the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh... By customs? By, by, by DEA. Yeah, 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 by DEA. Okay. Inside the United States, okay, they, they move what's called high-grade powder MDMA. They move cocaine and they move 
uh, liquid cocaine in their bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move it. I've seen the liquid cocaine, I've drank it myself. Having sex with Diddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks it all the time. All right, he calls it GG, but it's liquid cocaine. All right. Um, how do I know there's a conspiracy against Trump? Because it's in the Illuminati card deck. He should, look, you. He should look at it for himself. But let me, let me bring you back to uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. Sure. I mean, how did all of this, I think I better understand what you're, what you're saying, but what I want to know is how did that prompt you? How did that make you do what you did? That night? Well, we're getting to a point that his assassination is coming. Interesantemente ocurrió recientemente el atentado contra el, el expresidente Trump que le dieron el rosoncito en la oreja. Okay, because it's an agenda they perpetrate on the media and the news. Example. Madonna is a client of Mercedes, Ben Mercedes. Mm -hmm. He has her go on public TV and say, Oh, someone should, I have thought so many times of going up and blowing up the White House. Gotcha. Okay, they give her that little message. That little message is Hillary's message, okay? Mm -hmm. Because Hillary sends it to uh, Garagos. And Gary Hall gives it to Mercedes, and they give it to you. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now yeah, I, get, I get all of You're gonna need a, you're gonna need an internet so I can show you. If I show you the website, you're just gonna go like, oh fuck. All right, uh, help me understand you. Uh, sure. How old are you? I'm 42. I've been through all my life. Mm -hmm. I've had a great life. I've settled five four point one two five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, was he scared that I wasn't exposing? I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. I want okay. to talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? I don't. Obviously, we never met. I know. I don't know you from Adam's cat. Y ahora queremos saber más acerca de Diddy, pero le dice no, no me interesa lo de Diddy. I'm trying to, you know, we'll get back. We'll get back to the event. Hey, I got, I got, I got, right. I got like thirty years ago. Right. I'm good. Where, where, where are you from? Where, where, I'm where a rich, from? I was born in South Africa. Uh, what town? What what city? Newcastle, the Valley of a Thousand Hills. I'm from Zululand. I'm what you call a Zulu. Okay. Right. I was uh, I was born there, and then my parents were Latin descent from Argentina. They escaped the military dictatorship in Argentina. Pinochet, all that? Uh, no, the Argentina one. Argentina. Yeah, my Pinochet it was a Chilean one. But okay. 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 It was like... That, él está consciente de lo que está diciendo. Está diciendo, no, 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 no. Pinochet es de Chile. The military dictatorship, I can't remember okay. the name. All right, all right. Well, well, uh, how, how, how many years did you stay in South Africa? Uh, 12, 13, 12 years in South Africa. And I stayed 12 years in Argentina, and then I came here to the United States, and I've been here 20 years since. Okay. Yeah. 18 years. All right. Uh, parents. So you got a mother and father. They Dad, alive. they came and visited me. He died here okay. of cancer, and mom went back and back at home. I think over visiting with uh, with my sister here. Okay. Uh, what year did your father pass away? Um. <sighs> Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Did that have any effect on you? I mean, what was not your, like, your relationship not, uh, like with your father? Well, I suffered a little child abuse when I was a kid. Okay. And I believe it's, he's not my real dad, but it's okay, you know? All right. I Sometimes, you, you, you know, maybe that's, that's what he thought. I don't okay. Know. All right. And uh, your mother, uh, where, where's your mother right now? She's in Argentina. I think in Argentina, traveling in... in Europe. Okay. What's your relationship like with her? Distant, but distant. Okay. but uh, distant but nice. All right. Well, uh, any brothers, any sisters? Yeah, both. Also distant but nice. Okay. They both in they in Argentina. Well, my brother's in Argentina. My sister's in Europe with my mother. Oh, so you don't have uh, family in the United States? Yeah. Just my dog bubbles. My sister. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you're not married. You're single. I'm divorced. You're divorced? Yeah. Okay. My ex-wife is tired of trying to I told her she's an attorney. She's an attorney? Yeah. Where does she live? 
in Boca Raton. In Boca Raton? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does she know anything about this? Uh, have you talked she, to anybody? Yeah, she kind of knows. But what happened was they've been tapping me so much my phones for intelligence, I figured out how they tap their iPhones. Okay. And basically it's gone all the way up. And I've seen even Hillary knows that they've been watching me. They've been watching my come, come back to me. We'll get back into that in just a minute. Let's just stay with your family members and everything. Sure. I'm just wondering if you if, if you talked to your ex-wife or anybody. Uh, I thought, I thought no. About, about what happened about this? Yeah. Well, no. This was only me. It was premeditated to give a message to the American public, a wake-up call. It's called a wake-up call. Uh -huh. It's like when somebody rings a bell, for Americans to wake up. Americans like you, like me, like all of us here. Uh, you said premeditated, so you thought about this. You thought this through? Yeah. Uh, How I long have you been thinking about it? It's easy. That's like... Uh, that's help me understand. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't well, understand. really... When, I, you, when you say premeditated, you must have been thinking about it for a while. How long have you been thinking about doing what you did? Well, when I say premeditated, it means that I went and did it by myself, that's all. And I didn't think about it like for uh, okay. I didn't plan it for oh, okay. When you say premeditated, I thought maybe you planned it out. Like I ran my okay. own personal investigation, which I figured out with myself that this is going on and we still having issues of corruption at the highest place in our government. I get that, I get that. Now when you say you did your own investigation, what'd you do? Basically, out of all the times I went and saw the attorneys, I did my research online. Mm -hmm. And I found out the whole puzzle of their organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so you didn't tell, well, before I ask that question, so you have an ex-wife, you got a girlfriend? You got, you got anybody that you talk to? I'm trying to understand if you got somebody that you, you interact with on a daily basis. Yes, I have a good friend, a breakfast buddy. His name is Louis David Gonzalez. Uh -huh. And we go to the gym every day. He has nothing to do with what happened Thursday. Though he's a witness, he's gonna be shot at by them, and he's a witness that Ross came and threatened me at my house, post-settlement. After we settled, did he send Ross, and I asked him to go see if that was Ross, and he confirmed the identity. So, so, Gonzalez, uh, he can back up what you're saying about yeah. him? De no hablar prácticamente. De eso es lo que entiendo. P. P. D. E. and yeah. Ross and all that? Okay, yeah. all right. Um, and you said Gonzalez didn't know anything about your what you did? You didn't talk to him before? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. He knows nothing. He, know, he was actually worried about me. He's like, hey. Yeah, él ya había dicho que todo um, lo planeó él solo. Dijo, yo puedo hacer esto solo. Hey, what's up? And I told him, look, man, what's happening is he's trying to cool things down, but then the the feds have been harassing him. The feds. I mean, they, what, what, what's they, they have a big file of me like this, the feds. Uh -huh. Since because Pete Diddy and Mark Garibas have been trying to set me up and lock me up as an extortionist, asking for money. It was not so. A ver, lo voy a regresar aquí poquito porque dijo PDD cuando era voy a ver en cuánto cuánto se cambió a de Pop Daddy a PDD. He's down, but then the the feds have been harassing him. The feds. I've been well, they, well, they, they have a big file of me like this, the feds. Uh -huh. Since because PDD. And Mark Garibas has been trying to set me up and lock me up as an extortionist, asking for money. Before? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. He knows nothing. He, know, he was actually worried about me. He's like, hey, what's up? And I told him, look, man, what's happening is he's trying to cool things down, but then the, the feds have been harassing him. The feds. I mean, well, they, what, what, they, they have a big file of me like this, the uh -huh. Since because Pete Diddy and Mark Garibas have been trying to set me up and lock me up as an extortionist, asking for money. It was not so. My settlement was breached, and my settlement terms is view. One was called peaceful enjoyment. That means that if I went to your house or I did something, you'd actually pay me the full amount. I get all that. So yeah. I, I've been going through that since like 
okay. so. All right, and, and Gonzalez knows about that? You talked to him about that kind of stuff? I talked to him alone because he's the only one that knows since the beginning. Gotcha. And then my ex-wife, she knows she saw the contract. She has a contract, a picture of a contract. Talking to Trauma. You all need right. to call and ask her for a copy of the, of the settlement agreement. Okay, all right. Where, where do you live at? Where, where's your house, sir? Really you close. Any, you know, 177, just down the road from Trump's. Mm -hmm. You see, I want you to... Y veo aquí que se cambió a Pidiri desde el 2001. Okay. Close to Trump, because I know they don't like being close to Trump. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? They don't like that. So that's why I went to Trump's. Okay, all right. Uh, you got a roommate? Uh, you live alone? Okay. All right. Um, how do you get around? Uh, yeah, you got a car? Yeah, or a Jeep. Or like that? You a got a Jeep. Jeep? It looks like a military Jeep. Okay. Where is that Jeep right now? Police have in custody. Okay, all right. Um, we'll get back to the Jeep in a minute. Um, tell me about your employment. Uh, what, what, what do you do for work right now? Okay, right now I'm, I'm stopping for I work with minerals and gemstones. Uh, we're an old company called Pegasus, Pegasus Mineral Trading. Okay. Uh, that I inherited from my father. Previously, I had been. Um, well, well, before you go any further, uh, do you have like an actual office someplace? Do you work from home? Work from home. Okay. You, so you pretty much like online. Yeah. Uh, business. Yeah, but it's. it's I, I get busy two seasons a year, like really busy. Uh, I get September and February, okay. so it's like 15 days nonstop each one, and then it's like just. Slide well, where I'm going with that is if uh, you work from home, do you have a computer? Do you work no, on the telephone? I, I, How do you I, do business? I, what I did is I, I threw away everything I had because... Well, well, before you go, what is everything? What, what, what did you, when you say you threw away everything? What's my, my documents, everything I had because I know they've been trying to follow me. And I, I just don't want, I just don't, don't want my personal info getting... You know, I got to know. I, I, so I mean, I, I think I understand, but I mean, what I'm trying to understand is how can you have a business and not have a computer or, or, or work the phone? Oh, so, I have it. I just threw them away the, the same day. I threw it all away. You threw what away? No. My computers and everything. Well, where did you throw them away at? The garbage. In your garbage? At your... Yeah, because they've been spying at me through that. They spy you through your computer, through your iPhone. They spy you through your TV screen, the cameras. Even if they're off, they mash to it. It's called intelligence. The CIA is available. It can do anything. Uh, uh, let me make sure I understand you now. Now, when you say you threw them away, you threw them into like a dumpster, or did you just throw them away in your trash can? In and my you trash threw them can. away in the dumpster? In my trash can. Okay. Well, exactly what was it? Just like one computer? No, everything. My documents, the cell we were in. Uh, my computer, everything. A esas me imagino que fueron a su domicilio y tienen todo confiscado de la basura. That's what the TV, everything that they had been surveying me on, I took it off because I wanted them to be in the dark. Okay. Because they've been watching me. So now they kind of freaked out, they kind of spooked out. But it needed to be done. And Donald needs to do his presidency correct and he needs to know that these people are running him into the ground, running okay. the country into the ground. All right, we're going to come back to that. Sure. Uh, I'm not done with that, but I'm, again, I'm trying to help you and tr I'm trying to understand you, your daily routines, your business, that kind of stuff. But it's, um, I'm very different than you. I'm very intelligent. Okay. We all are very intelligent. I the can thing, see that, yeah. The thing is, You've been fed the wrong foods and medicines which blind you, okay? Those, most of the pharmaceutical industry is bogus, I, okay? I, I agree with you, yeah. I can tell you right now. Um, they have you popping pills and they poison you slowly so you die, okay? That's the truth. You don't need any medicine. You're strong. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Right. Your body is called, the only way to come out of that is called immunotherapy. That's all you need. Vitamin is immunotherapy. That's all you need. All right. Um, about my about my work ethics. Okay, previous places that I've worked at. Um, in the United States. Well, 
trying to oil him or? Oh, as, as much as you can tell me, help me understand, uh, you okay. know, uh, I you, you said you work, you work for Pegasus right now, right? But you threw away all your, your stuff? Yeah, because it's a family business, it's okay. really simple. Right. It's just like, I just need you to use square cash. Right. So let's go back, uh, what did you do before Pegasus? I worked, uh, I took a break off during the settlement, I did my research. Um, I took care of my dad, he had died. Um, before that, I did investment, real estate investments with Section 8 properties, but I was started getting harassed. So, because they threatened to sue me, I sold the properties. Before that, I worked for RG Electronics. I was the top producer, the top, the top salesman of TVs in 2012, in the last okay. quarter. Um, before that, I worked for a company called MA Labs, Mad Labs, mm -hmm. out of uh, the Raw here in 87th. They computer components manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Before that, I worked for uh, s and of America, which is Micron out of Idaho. They uh, semiconductor artificial memory okay. chips, uh, DDR memory, basically. Um, before that, I worked as a self-employed training electronics South America. Before that, I came here as an internship, as an accounting manager for the PRS Resorts in Key West, Florida. Okay, all right, so pretty much all those jobs were in South Florida, in the uh, Miami yeah. area? Yeah. I always stayed in South okay. Florida. Um, where, where'd you go, you school? College, you go? I went to University of South Florida, which is the same school as uh, the priest, the Pope we have right now. I started travel industry management. Uh, business and travel industry management, okay. but then I got I went into the electronics. Uh, okay, all right. Here uh, was that's what's been wrong. Okay. Será que se refiere al Papa Francisco, que fue la misma Universidad del Álamo. Voy a ver si no estoy desvariando aquí. All right. Um, do you have uh, anybody that you can think of uh, that you used to work with uh, that you trust? Uh, anybody, uh, any former co-workers, uh, anybody um, that you would reach out to if you ever needed help at any of those jobs? No. No? Okay. I'm pretty self-confident. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have my hair on my shoulders and I know what I'm doing. Okay, alright. And I mean, I know you all think this is, this is bogus, or you, you may not yet understand it, but look, i got three bullet holes. I got you. I, I, didn't, I did this for the country, I, trust me, I feel great. Okay. And I'll do it any day, because at least I avoid a president getting shot, and at least I avoid other dummies trying to fuck up our country, excuse my language. No, 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 you're good, man. And my people, because my Americans are my people. Okay. I have issues with when people mess around my people. All right, uh, tell me, uh, all right, let's, let's go back to uh, Thursday night, uh, Friday morning. Um, before you did what you did, well, what was your, what was your state of mind? I mean, um, uh, what were you was, thinking? Cool as ice. I went there, I knew what I was doing. It's not like I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing, and my point was to take down the flat and put it in the front desk and call the police, shoot the chandelier, to tell them to stop getting Arabia, Saudi Arabia money. All right. That's all because Obama is behind him. So is Hillary, okay? So he's got to stop taking the Arabian money because he's letting everything slide. He's letting Obama stand right behind him and so Hillary. And he knows who they are. Mm -hmm. He knows who they are. So does the CIA. Maybe the Secret Service doesn't because you all work for the president, correct? Right, right. You always work for the president. Correct? Some other people, but mainly the president, right? Exactly. So the problem is you are his circle. The CIA and them are a different circle. Well, let me rephrase that. We don't work for him. We provide a service to protect him. Exactly. That's why I want you to talk, and I would like this to be told to Donald Trump. Tell him I'm a supporter of him. I love him. I don't hate him. 
I know what his issues are. He has an issue right now with him that's bugging him a lot. It's called Stormy Daniels, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it bugging him so much? Why is he lying to the people? Why does why is Donald lying to people about Stormy? And how does that make you feel personally? I know the truth. I think it's a dummy situation. I think he should put his pants up and explain the American people what the problem is. Stormy is was sent by Gerogos Giovinati. Okay? They know each other because I know Christopher's been talking to Gerogos for years. They've been doing my attorneys here, Mace Laura. They've been doing business. They've been getting referrals for years after I cut the deal with Diddy. They made friends and they be doing deals. I understand and all that. They threw me into the feds well. for a conspiracy of something that I had not done. I was claiming breach of settlement. Now, um, the way the story is, it works as a following. Donald has an issue. His doctor prescribing Propecia. You know what Propecia is? It's the, uh, the skin or the hair. Hair growth thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically what happens when you take Propecia, your dick goes limp. But limp because you're taking Propecia. He has air issues. His doctor, birthday, slipped the Propecia out. Okay. So for him, Stormy story is bad news because it's embarrassing. That's why he's going crazy with that. It's not that he's lying to the American people. He's embarrassed about Stormy's situation, okay? He paid her and she's coming back with some bullshit stories, okay? Trying to expose and defame the presence so he falls and collapses. Um. Bueno, me quedé aquí súper intrigada. ¿Y qué va a hacer? Eh? Me quedé súper intrigada y la verdad desconozco si existe segunda parte de esto. Va a ser mi tarea. Eh, darles este dato, pero la verdad lo dudo, que haya una segunda parte de esto, lo dudo, vamos a ver, vamos a poner un comentario aquí, ok, aquí está, disclaimer, como, de la información tomada de esta entrevista eh, no son mis propias palabras y bueno eh, voy a subir este video eh, ahorita son las 5 de la noche y lo que tarde youtube en subirlo y no sé, quizás podemos comentar de esto en un siguiente programa acerca de esta interacción con esta entrevista, que la verdad no me había dado el tiempo de verla a detalle, eh, que este señor es un firme, uh, que apoya firmemente al expresidente, no había caído en la cuenta de ello. Pero bueno, pues es su, son sus preferencias, ¿no? Y no menciona lo que en todos lados he visto desde que él era un actor de películas, ¿no? Pues no lo mencionó para nada. ¿eh? Esto está muy raro. Bueno, espero que me dejen comentarios y seguimos investigando. Gracias. Hasta luego.